Hello everyone, this is Rick from Rick J. Baruby Art Studio. I'm just making an addendum to the video um, because I have to make it in two parts. It ended up being over four hours and nobody wants to hang around for four hours, especially on a premiere video. So, without further ado, here's the first part of the video locomotive acrylic painting tutorial. I'm coming to you on Super Bowl Sunday, uh, the Pats and Rams are in the Super Bowl. It's American football, so I know a lot of you guys don't care about it. <laughs> and But I am in Massachusetts, and it is my team that is in it again. A lot of you people hate them, but the Patriots are in it again for the what, eighth time. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's, it's really kind of cool, though, if you are a, pa a Patriots fan, that is. But otherwise, no one cares. But anyway, so happy Super Bowl Sunday, and I'll get on with the video here. So we have uh, paintbrushes. I have some specialty items here. Uh, you got a nice, uh, you know, these are the three. This here, uh, by the way, is a sea sponge. It's a natural sea sponge. And it's, I got this on Amazon like, I don't know, a year and a half ago, but I never got to use these. I had a little bag of them. So I'm going to try it out today and see how it works for trees, you know, for uh, actually for, uh, what do you call it? Uh, leaves on on trees and bushes and stuff. So I'm gonna try that out, and it's gonna be an acrylic uh, painting day, as you can see over here. <laughs> I'm using uh, Liquitex Liquitex Basics. But before I get to that, uh, let me finish this. So I got the large knife uh, from Bob Ross painting knife, and I have this uh, regular makeup brush. Basically, it's uh, for blending. I use that for blending. It's nice and soft, and that'll be for the sky. All right, so that's that. And then this palette, the palette, paper palette I'm using underneath it is a, it's a Strathmore paper palette. You can use any paper palette; it doesn't matter. But this is nine by twelve. This particular one, like I have larger ones, but I'm trying to show everything up here, so I'm just going to use a small one for now. I could always, you know, rip off the paper and try another one after. But I'm not going to be saving the paint. I'm just going to. This is a one-time deal, so for today. Now the brushes we have a two-inch brush from Bob Ross for the background. Then we have a one inch in case we want to use that for uh, or foliage for foliage and also this um, half size brush for other foliage. And I have a uh, regular uh, fan brush uh, number two. And these are the ones, uh, one of them broke in my last video. The ferrule came off of this and it was not, it was funny actually. These are pretty good. I mean, if it happens, it's not a big deal. They just glue it back. So, <laughs> large and small. Uh, then we have these flat brushes. Again, this is a, it's a David Jansen style, mostly for floral. A nice, the soft. Uh, what they are, badger, badger hairs. They're pretty expensive, but they're very good. So that's a large number ten, and this is a, a medium size. I think it's like a six or an eight. Doesn't matter, but you get the gist. Now I have three round brushes uh, and liner brushes. I have a liner brush here from Bob Ross. That's a number two liner, rigged liner, whatever you want to call it. And then I have a round brush, uh, number two round brush. I think it's a number two number one round brush. These are just for details and then I have a flat brush but it's very very small a number two flat brush and this is a different brand it doesn't matter I'm not sure and that's it for the brushes and I may or may not use all these brushes I may use more brushes I may use less okay um, and that's it for that uh, now over here with the, the paints I got all the Liquitex basic paints that I'm going to be using, I, I'm assuming I'm going to use it. I'm going to be using at least 90% of these for sure. I'm not sure about the orange, and maybe I may use the unbleached uh, titanium, but I'm not sure. That that might come in handy with the uh, the train I'm going to be painting to give it some antique look. It helps out rather than the basic uh, titanium, but I'm going to be using that for other things also. So we have titanium white, the unbleached titanium, and then I get the yellows all together here. So we got. Uh, the primary yellow, and then cadmium yellow, cadmium yellow light, cadmium yellow medium, and yellow ochre. Those are the yellows. And of course, I have a cadmium orange, and we have cadmium red deep hue, and alizarin crimson, and quadrachrome magenta. Then we have the blues are ultramarine blue, phthalo blue, and cerulean blue. We have hooker's green, and for the browns, we have burnt umber and burnt sienna lighter and darker and of course ivory black which is for everything so I went from lights all the way to the docks uh, just to, for convenience I just wanted to display this so you guys can see basically these are all my paints right here for Liquitex I mean that's all that's all of them 
and I have many more brushes as some of you know but these are the ones I anticipate on using and these colors so and with that let's get on with the painting and I'll, I'll see you in, the, in a little bit okay I got the uh, palette set up here a certain way um, I just have the blues over here darker colors here and then the lights up top um, I'm gonna mix certain colors just a couple of them I'm just gonna use a yellow and white Oh, there's a piece of... Look at that. I gotta get rid of that. <laughs> so yellow and white. Just a little bit of yellow. And white. That's gonna be one color for the brightest part of it. This is for the sky. Alright, and then we're gonna get a yellow, white, and actually a little bit of red. I can use different types of red, so I'm gonna try the medium. And some of this. Mm -hmm. Oh, yellow. Mm -hmm. I need a really small dab of that, but it's alright. Just add more of this. Add more uh, white. Peachy color. It's nice. Alright, and then we're going to get. I think I'm going to use a little purpley color, so I want some blue and white and some red, but I'm going to use a Kodakadone. And a lot of white. Okay. And a darker color, but just straight up blue. Basically, I use this. It's a little blue, uh, ultramarine blue, I believe. And a little white. Okay. See what we got. Okay, now I'm going to use. Um, I don't want to go. I can use any one of these brushes really, but uh, the softer the better. And you want to dip it in some water. I'm dipping in the uh, one inch brush into some water. Straining it out a little bit. You want it damp, definitely. It's got to be damp on here. So, all right. And we're going to start off with the yellow, the lightest color. Let's see. Actually, I put too much on here, so let me wash. Let me dry that. <laughs> yeah, that's too much. Okay. Let's see. Um, I'm gonna start on the horizon. The horizon area is gonna be right around here. I can go as low as I want because something like that. And then we're going to get into the next color, some peach. Crisscross strokes. I'm going to blend this after. And we're going to go into some of the purple. Scrub it in for now. Next, I'm going to put a little blue before I do that. Blue color. 
Get me mixed up. blending now just the uh, the lightest color and then go back into the dark and into the light color once you get out of it Put a little darker well actually no that's kind of like that actually breaks it up okay now I'm gonna wipe this off wet it down a little bit and squeeze it out That should be all right, actually. It's kind of looking good the way it is. I think I might ruin it if I put. See if it happens. Yeah. Let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. All right. Yeah, see the lines are coming because I wet it too much. Oops. Oh boy. Dry, dry. Actually, I have another one. Um, where is it? It's getting scratchy looking. See, I didn't really want. I should. I should have left it alone. Uh, oh well. That's not bad. It's gonna be. Most of this is gonna be covered up. So not all of it, but some of it. Let's try that again. Alright. Now we're going to have some color down here. Most of it is just going to be residual. There's going to be snow. So I'm just putting some shadow area. Alright, there's going to be a train here. i got to draw that out anyway. So I've got to just somewhat dry here. So. Probably have to do a hair dryer um, to get this dry because I want it pretty pretty dry when I get to the next stage. Uh, well, for now I can uh, work with it. <sighs> yeah. Uh. All right. All right. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna blow dry this, um, and I'll I'll be right back. I mix a little green color, uh, well blue green, very little green actually. Just to make it a little it's more white and blue, it's fine. This is going to be a background uh, mountain. 
I'm just going to want to try some of this color here first and knife it in. Now this isn't the Barbara style, so this is dry. That's why it's looking it's not working as good, but we will fix that and yeah, I'm just gonna use this brush for now. And then a little bit of a little water on this up. And I'll do that again. I'm just scrubbing in a little bit of water. Very little. Just to give it a misty effect. Okay. Use some of the sky colors for highlights. Uh, I'm gonna have to move this a little. Sorry. Uh, wait a minute. Let me see. I need to move this. Yeah, we're just going to keep doing this for now. Purple color for the blue color. It's not coming off on it. No more. Not too much. I'll fix this in a minute. Alright, I'm going to draw the rest of that mountain in. This brush off. I mean, this uh, knife off and the brush. Right. 
gonna use, I think we're gonna use, actually I need a, this might work. Just gonna get some blue and white. Dab it on. Trying to get it that uh, breaking effect, kind of, but at the same time, it's going to be a little different, obviously, because it's not oil. <laughs> Plus, I don't care. I like the way this is coming out. Alright, on the other side, I get some back of blue. Okay, train's gonna come about right here, somewhere around here. Put this one off. Wash it. All right, I'm gonna put some uh, little land here, even distant, a more distant uh, mountain. Uh, it'll be closer or distant. I don't know. Let's see what I want. Yeah, I'm going to put some, um, <laughs> just talking to myself again, <laughs> well, talking to you guys, but I'm going to dab one, I don't know if this is going to work, but, no, actually, I don't, I better not. Yeah, I'm going to put a little water in here, and I mean a little. It's already drying, so fortunately I'm having a choo choo train. Well, I have another layer of land going this way. Uh, let's put in a little, very little uh, mist. So I just want to kind of some uh, a little color in it. Let's see. No, too much. <laughs> Mostly white. Yeah. Be even a cloud going on the mountain, you know, the mist, mist in the mountain, misty mountain. <laughs>
Alright. I'm gonna put yeah in the foreground I'm gonna put this is gonna be covered anyway, so for now I'm gonna work on I have a dry area here. I'm gonna draw in the um I'm gonna draw in the train. Wash this off a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, I'm gonna just wash that. Now I'm going to draw, I could draw it in or I could, I can use a uh, brush, so, but I'm going to draw it for now, because I don't trust myself sometimes, <laughs> so we're going to kind of go like this. this way something like that I'll fix this up I just want to get the idea different trains I was going to draw uh, let me see I have a couple of trains that I'm trying to figure out which one to draw I think I'm going to try this one uh, I mean I'm not an expert on trains by no means <laughs> I just want to uh, yeah, all right, let's, let's, uh, let's see it's going to be going in going in something like coming off to the side so either way and then height wise Gonna have it's gonna be wheels on here. This is gonna have something like this now. Smoke will be coming up and going out that way. Uh, yeah, this is just a rough drawing for now. I'm going to see how it looks and then I will either stay with it or not. This has to be the exact angle, so I have to remember that. So let's get the bottom of the train first. track though. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. I can cut this off right here. So. Oh, I need my eraser. <laughs> this, this is a watercolor paint, so it might, might be better off just to use water. But, yeah, maybe. Yeah, this is working. Some work. Yeah, I'll get some water on that. Purple for now. This whole thing should be higher as I'm looking at the picture. It should be up here. 
because the train truck, yeah, the wheel's got to go down here. Unless this started here, I can do that too. Which should be fine. Yeah, I'll do that. So we'll do this. Actually, it's better, it's better anyway. But ignore this one. <laughs> Let's get it clean. <laughs> okay. So we're going to use this purple line here instead. That's going to go that way. This will come on here. That's good. see that later but there's a bell and uh, smokestack out of here that's where the smoke goes yeah I'm gonna paint this in it'll, it'll be much better but right now I just want to get the angle so let me get the angles there's a couple of lines go across Like I said, I don't know anything about trains, anything at all, but I do like them. <laughs> There's a handle here, so I'm going to go up there, and then this one too. There's a line that goes this way, way up here, a couple of barrels. Yeah, I'm going to make this train track. up here all right that's cool now I'm gonna chop this off the engineer I mean the um, engine itself I guess kind of this way I'll square thing here all right like that and then I like that, right? This is the part I gotta fix right here. So I gotta go. Yeah, because the train technically is over here. It's over this way. So like that. Alright. Very good.
wheel over here that does this thing here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright. <laughs> Talk about a rough drawing. <laughs> That's as rough as she gets. <laughs> I think I'm making too many details on this thing. <laughs> okay. And there's some lines that kind of go like that and windows. Well, not windows, just uh, yeah, I guess the windows. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I can put some trees over here and some land before I put the I finish this, and then. Make that more like this. There's this big circular thing here. Some latches and stuff. I'll get that in later, but circular thing here. Latch. things here. Uh, again, we're going off. Yeah, that's right. I'm making this new. Okay. And then that. Okay. Okay, like that. There's a line that comes crooked that way a little bit. This has to go way over here. <laughs> like 
got this will be land okay that's better okay so here we are uh, I'll make some details in this I just wanted the general outline okay give me an idea where it's going oh yeah very good so I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna prepare for this section here all right I'm gonna use this uh, blue color here I'm going to, go on to this, I'm going to do this background side. Um, just going to fill this in a little bit. Kind of like a foothill. I'll put a little green in that too, and some water. I want it grayish though. <laughs> this guy's funny. So I'm just gonna do this section here. Some greenish, bluish kind of color. And some white. This is just a foothill in the back there. Uh, I'm going to put some purple color in there. Water over there. Take some off. <clears throat> That's 
some of the background there. This is getting dark right here. The foreground is on this side more so. Lay of the land is going this direction, so I want to keep that somewhat the same. There's going to be snow, I believe, um, so I'll cover that later. I have to see a lot of this. I'm just going to fill this in a little bit. This is going to go kind of like this. Grind it in there. Grind it in. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Diesel. Mixing some more whitish. some water and hey my camera went off oh oh sorry about that okay <laughs> uh, let's see I'm gonna use this little guy here for now actually let me see uh, where's my medium uh, I'm gonna use uh, yeah. I'll try this one. Why not? I think I'll use this uh, half-inch brush, flat brush. Simply Simmons. <laughs> and I need some dark color, black actually, and blue, some brown. Okay. There's gonna be bits and pieces of snow cutting through this. See, I need to get a little more. No, I can do the snow after. Okay, so I'm gonna do clean this off first. Set this down. And uh, let's see. I need a little. Where's my little spongy? 
ました。Okay, I'm gonna use this. Well, actually, I could do this right now. I can use snow first. I'm thinking, wait a minute. I should have the snow on. Well, I'm gonna try it this way first, see how it works. Mm, actually, no. <laughs> I should put the back in. It depends on how much, uh, how many brush, push I want. Uh, I just want moderate. I don't want that much. So, yeah, I'm gonna lay down some snow. I'm trying to decide what brush, the best brush to use. None of these. That one inch, maybe. Uh, foliage brush, yeah. I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna get some more white first of all. Bite, 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 bite. That should do it. I'm gonna use some of these. Yeah, I need a lot on the brush for this. Let's go. There's gonna be brush, all different types of. Uh, it's snow, but it's gonna be a lot of bush too. Brush, a lot of brushes and bushes and trees or whatever. So I'm just gonna give it a little texture for now. Same on this side. There's a little background color here, of course, but and this is going to be a little less noticeable. Actually, I'm going to put a little, a little red in there. Okay. Now I'm going to stick some white on top of that. <clears throat> I'm 
Now this here, these are going to be train tracks, kind of, just a little color, and I'm going to swoosh some tracks on it. I'm just washing the brush right now. I'll get to this train soon, <laughs> but I got to put some uh, trees here, and the trees there will be last. But I want to get some background, some behind here too. So I will use. I can use this. I'm gonna try a different brush. Let's see. See, see, see. I need some black and Van Dyke and some blue mixed up. I'm gonna get some more black. I can use a line of brush, I will. I'm going to use a line of brush also, but I just want to get the, a few of these in here first. Yeah, I'm gonna fix this with a line of brush. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Mm. Little fly. Shoo fly, shoo. Just getting an idea where I put them. I think around here.
and some smaller ones right here. So I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna do that. All right, let me get the liner brush, wipe this off. At least, I'll try this one first. A lot of water. Put as many as you want, as little as you want. There's just trees growing everywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna have big ones going here to cover that anyway, so don't worry about that end yet. This end, however, I want to bring some down. Yeah. So we'll go in front of the train. I'm just putting it there for reference for later. Because basically, well, I can put it there now. It doesn't matter. That's about it. Next day, yesterday was Super Bowl Sunday, and of course we won. So I, I just brought an old painting that I made. I cut it out and I took a picture of it. <laughs> That's what was, That was from last year, so which we uh, did good on last year also. But thing is, um, we, this is, what, six out of eight Super Bowls we won?
that's pretty good pretty impressive most ever right so I know you guys in the UK and Canada and all them people they you probably don't care but I just you know if you're in New England awesome Patriots yeah <laughs> hey just wanted to bring that up <laughs> now I'm gonna get back to my work now here's <clears throat> so I had to stop yesterday because of the Super Bowl party we had um, now I'm not sure if these dried out or not I put them under I wet them somewhat and but I didn't use my wet palette <clears throat> unfortunately so we'll see what happens I mean, they're pretty good they look good because I had it covered obviously but that doesn't always do it you know with the acrylics so we're gonna continue on this this is a uh, you know of course I'm not happy with these a little thicker than I wanted so I might even go over these again I don't know this is not gonna be a rush one and I'm gonna take my time on these if I have to you know edit it later I will uh, speed up some parts just so it doesn't take over you know two hours or anything because I'm going to be working on this for quite a while. So Anyway, I got some new brushes, you might notice. Um, I mean, they ain't new. No, I use them here and there. But these here, these are different different brands. Uh, Virtuo, this is a Virtuo, Virtuoso specialty uh, art brushes. That's these. And I forgot the name of these. It's kind of no-name brands or whatever. But these are cool, you know, flat brushes. These are, the, these are all detailed brushes. So I'll just leave that there for now. Um... So yeah, we're going to start, um, well, I'm not going to work on this just yet, I'm thinking of fixing up the background, but besides, I didn't finish the trees yet, obviously, i got to put the leaves on and stuff, just here and there, but that's what I'm going to do, so bear with me and uh, let's get to it. Alright, <coughs> I'm going to spray down a little bit on the tree areas, because I just want to make it a little, I'm going to have to get some water on the palette also. Now, if this doesn't work, I'll start over with a new uh, color, but these are, for the most part, these are pretty good. Let's see how that works. I got some, uh, I got a bunch of cheap brushes also, a whole bunch of them. I can use for details and, you know, angled and whatever. There's some round brushes and square. Uh, yeah, a lot of good stuff, so. All right, I might take some of those. <laughs> <coughs> now... <coughs> But I, I usually rely on my old Bob Ross line of brushes, and but I don't know. I, mean, I want to try another brush for now. I'm going to pull out one of these guys' details and see how this works. There's not a lot of hairs in these, so it'll take longer. But I I also have a, a new tank that I haven't used. I had it for over a year, and you might have saw that this is a popular tank, water tank, a cleaning station, you know. So I'm going to be using that too. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I want to get some browns. I'm going to put a little brown. Let's see. The, the straight Van Dyke brown. Uh, let's see. We should try that first. And then. dark color Bl brown blue black all that mixed yeah see I can't really get the detail with this I don't think might need a little more water or whatever hmm. I keep dipping it in the uh, <clears throat> the water before I put it in the uh, paint so it stays thin. Number this is a number one liner brush. Not that that matters, but. Water. 
these are a little closer so I want a little more detail on these three maybe five whatever and then and then I'll start with the leaves on them I'll cover that after. It's got to be in the background, obviously, so. isn't too bad for this actually. Pretty good.
over here. Uh, two ticks for that one, okay. Okay, I'm gonna put a little uh, leaves in a minute. Just wanna fix up a couple of these things here. Oh, okay, let's try to put some leaves and see where that takes us. Good boy, Diesel. <laughs> Good boy. All right, now I get him going. <laughs> I'm gonna try. Uh, actually, I gotta. Well, the sponge thing, I'm not sure. I should have tested it first, of course, but I can go into the same. Well, I need some more blue. Let me mix up some more color here. I'll put purpley. I'll make it dull. Well, that's okay. Black, maybe. I'm mixing up some uh, blue, purple, red, a little white, and I'm going to need some more black coming up, I believe. This is all drying out, yeah. That's, that's too blue. I want a little more, a little darker than that first. So I'm going to get some black um, right here. Try the sea sponge. It's a. I never used it, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> Maybe I should just go lightly over here. I need some more color. Oh, it's kind of cool. It's making circles too though. <laughs> I try a different part of it. Right 
to it with the dirty sponge. And maybe a little darker than that. All different tones in here would be nice. That's all right, I'm going to fix the train after. I just want to make sure it blends to the back of the train. <coughs> I can even add some different tone. I can try this. I don't know if that's too bright. Um, yeah, a little, a little highlights actually. Try to give put these in as clumps, but at the same time, I don't want to ruin the effect. All right, so some of the uh, autumn trees will show through, and some and some of the will fall or whatever. Some are already fell off. So we're going to mix a little white in there for some snow. Alright, I'm going to flip this over. And go straight white. Well, a little bit of blue. trees. All right. A little stronger in the foreground. Like that.
Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what we got here. So that's about okay. I don't know. Right here, I want to do something. And then down here, obviously. So we're gonna put a little more bush here. We're going to the dark. Something darker color. foreground I gotta put some darker color I noticed Highlights will fix this. Actually, I'll just make this a big bush right here. different here. So I get some snow in here. Just <coughs> pull up some shadows.
a little bit, just a little bit of white. background now. There's the lighter in the background. Not as dark. Okay. Alright, I like that. Alright, I think I got a good background now. I'm pretty happy with that. Except for right there. <laughs> I saw a little spot. I'm going to make a little more white on this. Okay, you can keep going as you know, you know, and, and you can ruin it if you put too much, so. But it is snow. So. The quotes are forgiving, you know, when they dry. So you can go over it if you don't like it, but which is what I had to do a couple of times already. But I think for the most part, it's got a little snowy background. All right, now the train and the tracks. Let's see, do the tracks first. It doesn't matter. I'll do them all together. See where it takes us. Uh, yeah, I'm doing this different style of train. I like uh, not different style, but it's gonna well, it, it's, it's gonna have some smoke, but I'm gonna have it going this way. Um, I have a couple of reference photos, but I'm I'm, gonna, I'm mixing it up, making it my own, you know. Same with the background and everything. So I'm gonna add a little white. I just did a little touch up over here in these box, uh, in the tree trunks, <laughs> and now I'm gonna put a little white along the back side of this. I shouldn't really have too much detail, but it is in the semi foreground, so. Some detailed snow <coughs> here and there. to that. And the water. I like these little brushes. Pretty cool. Detail brushes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I gotta do a little dark uh, color. I'm not, um, a blue maybe. Okay, now wash this in a little bit, put some water, and then go into the white. There's going to be snow all over the tracks anyway, to make it real realistic. Now we can do this. Just white paint. Find the top of the rail a little better with some snow. Put some in here. Like that. <coughs> I guess that looks pretty good. This here, I'm going to put a little, little triangle in the front. I think just a. I'm not sure. I think. I can see it's going to be like that, like that, like that. <laughs> Let's see. Just to find the rail a little more. No breaking it up too much. Okay. Alrighty, let's get into the 
need a kind of a medium size, uh, small to medium flat brush. So I think uh, I can use one of these too. But let's see. This is too thick. Hold on. I need a thinner one. So yes, I will use probably number three flat, soft flat, just to get some of these in here. And we'll see how this works. I think I'm going to start off with some black, uh, straight black, and then put in some detail after. Or, I don't know. Let me get some more black. Alright. Well, I'm not sure if I should use straight black at some time. I think so. I lose my detail obviously but that's what you need the dark over and then the whites over I'm just going to block in the color for now I'm testing this to see if it works and then I'll fix it. I'm not liking that too much, but again, this is just to block it in kind of. Of course, the bigger this circle gets, the more off-center this is, but it's supposed to be over here somewhere, I believe. So I'm going to have to draw it in later. Something like that. All right. Okay. And again, I'm going to be detailing it on top of this. I could use a little color, maybe blues or yeah, blues. And purples, whatever. Just to get some dark color with the black. And then we'll leave it a ladder. Hopefully this is dry. <laughs> Alright, let's try uh, flattening this out. Okay. It's not enough paint, I need water. There we go. I had a lot of 
way over here and one way on this side. But it's kind of close, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the ladder right here. I'll do the bell after. So a little circular thing here. There's a lot of a lot of different things on this, so Actually, it hits the light over here and in this area. So. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna come down here about that far where the ladder is. Then we're gonna have there's gonna be some I'm gonna make green blue green whatever. Uh, water. Just like that. It comes this way. Alright. Now I'm going to put some different tones here just to start, and that way it'll be easier later. And there's going to be some shadow areas over here, of course. A circular thing here. Make a little red. behind the ladder. Let's get that color. There's a rectangular box kind of here. And
right to hash. Then you have these white shiny circles here and here. <clears throat> Alright, uh, a little more with the flat brush and then Circle, it's a square. I don't know, there's a whole bunch of stuff here, so there's no way we're going to get it all. So this is the end of the locomotive acrylic painting tutorial, part one. Part two will be where I paint the details of the train itself. Goodbye for now, and have a great day.